Carol Vorderman criticized ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson as his former advisor, Charlotte Owen, became the youngest member of the House of Lords at age 30. Carol Vorderman said Boris Johnson was making an utter mockery of our democracy, for giving his former advisor, Charlotte Owen, a life peerage in his resignation honors list. The 30-year-old became the youngest peer in the House of Lords and will be known Baroness Owen of Elderly Edge. Other allies of Mr. Johnson have taken their seats in the House of Lords in recent weeks including Sean Bailey, who took part in a conservative HQ Christmas party during lockdown, and 31-year-old Ross Kempsell, a former political director of the Conservative Party. On Monday, Former Countdown presenter Carol Fume to her 840k Twitter. Boris Johnson makes an utter mockery of our democracy once again. Charlotte Owen will receive money for life. Be able to affect the laws and rights of British people, and all because? Well we want no will we, as there are injunctions in place. What a country we've become. Faulty Tower star John Cleese echoed the 62-year-old sentiment. Retweeting her tweet, he added, I suspect that now he's realized hell never be PM again. He's trying to destroy everything he can. Lady Owen's biography issued by the House of Lords stated she graduated from the University of York in 2015 with a degree in politics and international relations. It adds she worked as a parliamentary assistant to Conservative MPs Alec Sharma, Mr. Johnson and Sir Jake Berry from 2017 until 2021. Lady Owen then worked as an advisor to Mr. Johnson as Prime Minister, his successor Liz Truss and then Chief Whip Chris Heaton Harris between 2021 and 2022. A cross-party Lords report last week said Mr. Johnson's exit honours had brought into question the current appointment system for creating new peers. The Lord Speaker's Committee said, most notably, there was considerable controversy over the size and composition of Prime Minister Boris Johnson's resignation list, with over half of initial nominees not being approved by the House of Lords Appointments Commission, HOLAC. It recommended imposing a fixed term limit, possibly of about 15 years, for service in the Lords and called for a fairer allocation of new appointments that are based on election results.